back to the channel. Finally got the grill in the mail. It came from Amazon a few days ago. Um, I was gonna put it on earlier during the week, but we got a little snowstorm that came uh, came a bit heavy unexpectedly. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on. A few little things before you start. Just to know, I am not a mechanic. Um, you know, I have little tools laying around. I just got these wrenches today uh, in order just to do this today. Um, so I'm not a mechanic. I I'm just a little hands-on here, right? So hopefully things go well. We get this uh, tank lifted up real quick and uh, we'll be done soon, right? So let's dive in. Little things you're gonna need for the for the procedure is a towel. You're gonna need a towel, you're gonna need a screwdriver, you're gonna need a scissor just to cut off the zip tag. You're gonna need um, an Allen key then your wrench is down there as well. All right, so before we go ahead and put the grill on and show you how everything's connected, first things we gotta do, unfortunately, this light right here um, has a plug that flows right through here and underneath the tank. So in order for this to come out, uh, the top of the tank needs to come off. Usually what most people do is take the whole tank off. Um, hopefully, I don't have to take the whole tank off and just the, the front part of it. So that's why we're gonna just take off this screw here Make sure it pops up a little bit. I'll have enough space to get in there and get the uh, wire out. First things first, we gotta do, obviously things are electronically here. So we're gonna have to lift up here from the side. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, you're gonna open the side cap right here. This is where you're gonna find your connection um, with your battery and everything else. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna disconnect this from the sides. Just like that. Right, now you're gonna wanna go ahead and take this orange plug out. That's gonna be the main source. That's the one that gives um, the power to your bike from the battery. So that's good. That's number one, knocked out the way. Number two, what we're gonna wanna do is right here. This is your uh, fuel line. So we're gonna have to, um, this is gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna have to push up. Um, oh, I broke my nail right there. We're gonna have to push up and then we're gonna squeeze down and this whole plug comes off. You're gonna need, that's why you're gonna need the towel for this because you're gonna, you're gonna have a little fuel drop down on your hands. Um, it does have a, a seal on it, so don't think that all the fuel is gonna drop out. Um, that's what prevents it from everything flowing out. So we, that's the next step we're gonna do. All right, so you're gonna wanna put your towel there so you don't get any fuel on uh, the mortar or anything else. So we're gonna push up and this drops down. How does that smell? <laughs> like gas? Mm. All right, so that's out already. Let's see, let's see. All right, so here is the nut that we're gonna take off. On the other side, you're gonna wanna put your Allen key so it doesn't keep uh, turning around. So we're gonna put this on here, put the Allen key on this side. All right, the next screw you're gonna have to take out is gonna be under here. So we're gonna go ahead, lift this little cap up, and then there's where this screw is gonna be at. We're gonna pop that open. That's just gonna hold, uh, that's the only thing that's holding the light on right now. Next little bolt you're gonna have to take off is gonna be the one right here for the plastic. So that could come right off. Uh, there we go. Catch it, don't lose it. That opens up. It's gonna give you a visual of uh, the headlight. This is my headlight. Um, the headlight runs down through here. What I need to do now is just connect it from here and it's gonna allow me once I pop this nut on top to take the whole light out and then I'll be able to feed the, um, the wire through the back part of the grill and I'll put it in, all right? All right, so the next bolt's gonna come out. It's gonna be one in here. All right. Now you're gonna wanna hold the light underneath so it doesn't fall off. Kevin, you give me a little help. Just hold it underneath right there. All right, so you're gonna have these washers in here. So the washers should stay in there. Make sure they stay in there, you don't lose them. So now the whole light is out the way right there. Kevin, just gonna hold this for me real quick. Gonna be my helper. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna have to cut the zip tag here because it's holding up the, the wire that I actually want for the light. So we're gonna clip that and then uh, I'll make another run to Home Depot and get more zip tags. And that's gonna Black out, and here is the source of the lights. So there we go, now that's free. All 
you got yourself a light. All right, so for the light right here, all you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver. And we're just gonna unscrew this. Be careful you don't scratch your lens in the front. It should come off very easy. All right, so this is gonna pop right off like that. There's the brim. So the grill comes in two parts. You unscrew this. We're gonna feed this part right here through the light. That's why we had to take the whole light bill out. So that's gonna go through it. All right, now we're gonna feed it back through. We're gonna put it through the top. Make sure your washer is right in place again. And we're gonna screw it in. Now make sure your light is perpendicular. Uh, you're gonna have your words in the bottom right there and your Harley Davidson in the same direction right there. So we're gonna go ahead. Make sure you hold this light because otherwise it's gonna pop right out, just like that. So make sure it's nice and straight. Now it's your, it's up to you if you want it to, uh, if you want the grill to go horizontal up and down or if you want it to be sideways. I think it looks best up and down. It's pretty tight right there. And then you can move the whole module around just like that. Don't forget to pop your black cap back in there again. This is gonna go right back where it was at before. And I'm gonna connect this right where it was at, like I said. Very good. Plastic cover's gonna go right in this place. We're gonna screw this back in. The wire's tucked in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and connect our fuel line back in. We're gonna push the silver part up. Pop this bad boy in. It will get a little more fuel on you, but that's all right. And right there, locked in. Nice and safe. All right, so now we're gonna put our screw back in. We're gonna make sure our tank is nice and leveled where it's supposed to be at. Right over the center. And like I said before, most people, they think that you need to take the whole tank off and you don't need to do that. Take this one screw out, lift it up from the front, it's gonna give you enough space to get in here and play around and that's all you're gonna need. Do not listen to anyone that says you're gonna take the whole tank off, you're gonna take the seat off. This is a one, two, three process, easy as that. So once you put the bolt through, uh, don't forget you're gonna have a washer and the bolt on the other side, which I'm gonna put. All right, so we're gonna put the um, screw on this side yeah, Allen, the Allen key part is gonna be on this side. And right around here now, come around. We're gonna put our washer through in first. Okay, and then the nut. That comes in second. I'm gonna turn it up a little here. And I'm gonna use the Allen key on the other side and the wrench on this side so we can get it back together. And after that, all we gotta do is connect the battery and we're done. All right, so this screw right here actually comes with a little black cover right here, rubber cover. Um, so we're gonna put that back on. Now, the last step, all we're gonna do is, oh snap, where's the switch at? Where do you put it at? Oh no, <laughs> I left, back up. I put in the cover, I forgot. So we're gonna put this back on, just the way it was set before. Hopefully everything's okay. I'm gonna put this cover back on. And right before I close anything up, we're gonna go ahead, turn the bike on, make sure it works, um, and uh, we'll see how cool it looks. Well, it turned on, so the battery's working. Let's put this bad boy in neutral. So that's the uh, 
uh, the light on. I'm going to go ahead and put the high beam on, see how it looks. Um, really, really ecstatic about it. Project came out amazing. Like I said before, I am not a mechanic. Uh, I'm just pretty good with my hands. This is a easily one, two step. So I try to be the best um, detail as I can. Um, it's one, two, three. Uh, even myself, I went on YouTube, I tried to look for a video that was gonna show me how to do this exactly in the easiest way. And I didn't find it. So I was trying to make a video to help you guys out there. Um, so you don't have to go online and look at 10 videos to get a little snip out of each one and put it all together. So hopefully with this video, uh, it was very helpful. If you're gonna go ahead and put this on your bike, I would definitely recommend it. It looks awesome, it looks super badass. Um, the grill cost me $21. I got it on Amazon. It came in three days later. And it just gives the whole bike a whole new different look. Like it just, it's just a badass bike. And like I said before, the silver cylinder around it, you're not gonna do this anymore, but I'm gonna put it away just in case. I wanna keep all the original parts with it. Um, I was having a little trouble put this black cap back on, but I'm definitely gonna put that on right now. And that's it. So um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, there's gonna be plenty, plenty of more mods that I'm gonna be putting up. I do wanna change out the seat. Um, I do wanna put these next, so. Uh, Probably the next thing I'm probably gonna get is the Daymaker light. And for the Daymaker light, you're not gonna have to do this whole process. The only thing you have to do is unscrew this, uh, unscrew the grill, and the light's gonna pop out, and you'll able to, you'll be able to um, basically just unplug the light inside right here, and then plug your uh, your new Daymaker light. So I mean, that's like the easiest thing. So I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna order the LED uh, turn signals. I wanna order the seat. Um, and a few little surprises I'm gonna show up later on. So we're gonna we're gonna do so much for this bike. We're gonna transform it into I don't know what. Um, so stay in tuned. If you're into if you're into build outs, if you're into Harleys, if you're into irons, like, comment, and subscribe. It's gonna be a big help, guys. And thank you so much. As always, take care, ride safe, peace. All right. So this was my helper behind the camera. Noah, you wanna say hi? Hi. And Kevin who was holding the light for me. Um, what did you guys learn today? How to um, put a grill on in the easiest way. And how was the easiest way? Not by taking off the front part and the seat. The tank and the seat? Yeah. You don't have to do all that, right? Easy? So maybe when you get bigger and maybe you get your own bike, you, can, you, know, you know how to do it, right? Awesome. Noel also has his own channel. Uh, he does Toys One All. Well, matter of fact, go ahead, plug in your channel. Channel name is called Toys with Noel. Um, I do vlogs, toys, and games, and it's really cool. Awesome. So if you guys have any kids uh, his age, he's nine years old. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe to his channel. Kevin, you have a channel? Yeah. What? Why not life? All right. Kevin just started a channel last week, and what are you gonna have in your channel? Well, gaming or something like that. All right. Well, you need you're gonna have to get a camera for that. Oh, All right, guys. Wait.